All right, guys, welcome to the Creativity Cave. I'm Dina Rico, and I'm coming to you with take two because take one was a little too spastic for my, even my sensibilities. So, and I have a classy card and we can't have spastic. <laughs> so I'm making this gorgeous card and what I love, love, love about it is how incredibly simple it is. It packs a lot of punch with just a just a bare minimum of effort, which I really enjoy. I also think this is perfect for a masculine card, and that is one of the most requested card types I get. So I have created this really, really easy card by simply taking some very vanilla card stock. I ran it through my Pinewood Planks textured dynamic embossing folder. Ha ha. That is one of those thick folders. As you can see, it's pretty thick and sturdy, and it gives you just a really in impressive impression. So I really like that. Um, I showed another one yesterday on my blog, which was the ruffled one. So anyway, this is just uh, embossed. And then what I did is I was playing with some of the shapes from the seasonal layers framelits. You might recall those are the ones that go with the Colorful Seasons stamp set. I love this set. I, I know I talk about this quite a bit, but this is such a great set because of the versatility it offers. All the seasons are in here, and then there's some really awesome sentiments that go along with this stamp set. So it just makes for such a great set and I keep thinking I'm gonna have my fill of it but I keep pulling it back out and using it some more so I do love it I also wanted to use up some scraps do you guys ever find you have a ton of scraps I know I do I cut a ton of cardstock between my classes and my personal use I'm always cutting up cardstock so I had some scraps left over from a class that I had done using some of the um, wood grain textures DSP and so I was taking some of those scrap pieces and die cutting them with the leaf and look at how cool these are oh my gosh the textures and whatnot in these are just amazing and I think they make for a great card so anyway what I'm going to do is after I've embossed this layer now I'm going to simply take and adhere this now I cut a solid one and I guess we could totally use that on our card but I really Really, really really like the outline one and I can see I just have a couple little I ran this with my dye brush but I have a couple more little bits that just fell out which I love that they fell out um, I use my regular um, my regular platform on this and all those little pieces came out quite easily so that's great now I'm gonna bring in my um, silicone mat my sponge and some liquid glue to do the adhesive on this. Now I know we have the adhesive sheets, the multi-purpose adhesive sheets, but I still like this technique, especially for something like this, and I'll show you why. I put a little adhesive just in the center, and then when I adhere my um, leaf to my card, the tips still kind of are able to stick up because the whole thing's not adhered down to my cardstock, and I like that because it gives it some more dimension, and you know I'm all about the dimension, right? Okay, I'll set that aside. I'm going to adhere this to a little cardstock. Now, in my sample, I've used Soft Suede because I think that color most closely coordinates with the shade of DSP I'm using. But on my second one here, I'm going to use Early Espresso just because it's a little richer, um, a richer color on the wood texture. There's kind of a range of colors that come in that set, which I kind of like too because it's not all just one type. Now I did a super skinny layer. This is really skinny, like a sixteenth of an inch around versus my eighth of an inch standard because I wanted just a peak of that color. I still wanted to keep it a really nice, simple card. Now I'm going to take some of my dimensionals and put this layer popped up onto my card. So I'll just use these edge pieces like so. It's like um, second dimensional set. <laughs> okay. That's kind of a reference to The Office, which I've been watching on Netflix lately. And um, it is, it reminds me of when Pam is at the Dundies and she gets drunk <laughs> from drinking everybody's leftover drinks and when the ice melts she says it's second drink <laughs> so I think that's kind of funny 
Okay, so I'll just place this right here like so and so pretty. Now I'm going to make this a thank you card and I chose to use the set. Oh, I want to say all things thanks. Um, but darn it, what did I do with that stamp set? Oh, here it is. I just had it pulled aside so I'd be able to show you really easily. So I used the, the thank you from this stamp set. But I really believe this card could be any sentiment. It could certainly be a sympathy card. It would be perfect for that. It would be a perfect masculine birthday card, um, a thinking of you, what have you. I tend to need thank you cards quite a bit, so that's why I chose this. I'm going to take and stamp this on a little scrap of very vanilla that I happen to have left over and I'm going to actually trim this down just a bit and you know what I didn't like how that stamped so I'm going to stamp it again because it's my card and I can stamp it if I want to <laughs> oh and I don't like that one either so third time's the charm right we shall see pretty much okay <laughs> I'm just going to trim that down a little. I'm going to trim it on either side. And then I'm also going to pop or punch this with my triple banner punch. Oh, but you know what? I know that punch is out in the other room, so I'm going to use this punch. This one's discontinued, but the triple banner punch does the same thing. Okay, so there's my little thank you. And again, I'm going to take and pop that one up on my card again with some dimensionals. Oops, let me grab. Got a little hunk right here that will be perfect for this. I think if I can get it. And I'll just stick this right over the top of my leaf. Now I thought about adding like some metallic thread or spritzing it or something, but I just love the look of this. It's so simple. So anyway, I hope you loved this card as much as I do. It really was easy to make. Of course, if you need any of the things to make this card, please check out my blog. There's a link in this description of the, this video that will bring you to my blog post on this card as well as to my online store so you can purchase the items that I used today. Um, and I have an online class for this. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorites. If you have any questions, of course, just let me know. I'm happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much for stamping with me today. And don't forget to subscribe to my video. It's the little box you see in the corner here. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.